It is a Tuesday of uh, we're into April now, right? We're well into April now. Yeah, it was April before you left. Rabbit, rabbit. deserted us. Yeah. Rabbit, 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 rabbit. Good then. Um, How was your clips, Dean? You good? My clips. Your eclipse, yeah. Oh, the eclipse! It was so good. Yeah, yeah. I can't see anymore. So, oh fuck! Yeah, so it's even worse now. Yeah, <laughs> thought yeah it I, I should have known better. Don't look Sorry, at right stuff, and I'm. Yeah. Yeah, but oh. I thought it would fix it. If you're already messed up, reverse. It's no. like multiplying <laughs> negatives, right? It's like, yeah. didn't work that way. Retro didn't work mm. that way. Try, but uh, so did we? What did we see it? You would have said now. You're kind of in the the wheelhouse there, retro. You were right in the the hub. He was what? full eclipse area, but. Yeah. Um, totality we had totality here right if, if it had happened if totality had happened two hours later it would have been awesome really I, really good very dedicated to the show right dean so unfortunately oh, really coincided yeah the, there was a lot of cloud cover yeah there is the cloud is that right a lot of cloud cover in our yeah. area you know how he turns his camera to show the, the deliveries of his wife's online purchases every day with the delivery trucks? Mm -hmm. Full overcast, no, no chance. Oh, I'm so sorry, Brett. It did not. No. Oh. Oh. Didn't look like that. Yeah, that's, that's better. Yeah, now, oh, geez. Yeah, wow. Can we get it to today? Yeah. Just just do it today, then. Did you keep your receipt? I don't know who you need to talk to. Just, yeah, we can't hear you at all now. Yeah, for sure. That was a good time, though. Good start. Rhett will be on the yep. show tomorrow. And thanks to Rhett. Today. All right. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. No. Nope. Can't hear you. And yep. gone. We're going to do a power cycle. Uh, I'll be so happy when this is all over. Um, Your life or the show? What are we? Uh, yes. Okay. Good. Yes. Um, apologize for the thing for a little. We're a little tickly. We got a little bit of a, a little bit of a uh, um, sore throat, I guess. Got the Philly flu. Got the Philly flu. Yeah, got the Philly flu, but uh, but we'll power through it. I'll do less talking. Okay, I'll let you do more talking. Me? Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I'd be well. Okay, Dean, twist my arm. All right, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. It's a Calgary Flames game day. Get your helmets on. The San Jose Sharks. It's the one we've had circled on our calendar for a long time. That 8.30 start against the last place team in the league with six games left in a season where you're eliminated from the playoffs and actually kind of want to lose to improve your draft positioning. Here we go. Redemption tonight at the Shark Tank. As remember, that 6-3 drubbing the Flames took at the hands of the Sharks back in February. Tonight. Well, yeah. Payback. And Maybe payback, they just work hard and lose. Can that be payback? Or payback's not? a bitch. You know what I mean? That's what it's going to be. That's the thing when I got a sore throat, you got to, yeah. Payback is going to be a bitch. So anyway, is this the Nikita Hochek uh, revenge game? Is that what we're looking at or no? Why is he playing? I don't know that he's playing. I don't playing. know that he is. I think it's uh, Nikita Okotok is going to have to wait to face the Sharks. That's it sounds right. like. But I would think they, you know, put him back in there. I don't know. Hi, Rat. If, if he's Hi right, there. Me. How are we doing? Can you hear me? Yep. So good. Yeah. So good. So you didn't see the eclipse. I was uh, standing in line for a submarine sandwich when it started, and the people in uh, that were making these sandwiches, they were upset that just when the eclipse was happening is when they got super busy. Son of a... And the one girl said, of course, it'd be the busiest we are all day when it starts. Fuck. <laughs> That's like right out loud. <laughs> Newark, New Jersey. Stay classy. Once in right a here. lifetime thing, Dean. I'm with them. You're at Putts for ordering a sandwich. I just wanted an Italian special. It's all. Yeah. Couldn't wait. Jersey, Four Mike. minutes. Four minutes you couldn't wait. Well, they didn't ask. They If they'd have said, can you wait for a few minutes, I'd have probably said yes, but they just kind of. F-bomb and said. Yeah, F-bomb. Straight yeah. So You're so ignorant, you didn't know the time of the eclipse that you're just walking up to a sub shop, getting an Italian special, oblivious guys got to eat you know what else you're ignorant about oh, oh here we go good to be back speaking of sub sandwiches yeah we had a report from uh frank bomb it's an inside. perhaps you uh went outside the what word would you use pinder kind of well it felt like a staple order and you were modifying all over the place like you're yeah. my wife at some high-end restaurant telling the chef how to make shit what are you doing here Guy from Philly tells you what to order. You, you roll with the order here. No, you're out with Frank. He takes you for a sandwich, 
You go, whatever he's having is the correct order. Instead, no, I'll, I'll get some cheese whiz and pickles. What's wrong with you? Um, yeah, I think that's a little overblown. Uh, that's not what the Frank insiders were saying. He's not a liar. He's a lot of things. Frank, uh, I, I I didn't need the double meat that Frank got. <laughs> that's maybe okay. Yeah. I'll get a double meat American no onions was his order. Yeah. And I went just single meat whiz no onions. And the pickles came on the side because, as you know, I like pickles. Right. So uh, I know I really ruined yeah. the Philly cheesesteak order with the swapping out of the cheese. But We basically wow. likened it to putting ketchup on a dog at Wrigley. Like, you, you may as well just got punted to the street. That's right. how it went, right? Did Frank, like, body slam you in the spirit of the weekend no. after a craziness like that? No. Uh, I, I think you guys are having a little bit of fun. That's all right. But uh, I, I was willing to. I, I said, what do you do? He's like, you pick your cheese. Whether you want onions, you just pick it. That. So I, I did just the order. And in fairness, there were a lot of people at this very busy place, which was Dino Might, okay. uh, doing much the same thing, having yeah. the same uh, the same order with the yeah. uh, the whiz. And so delicious, good. you're saying? Well worth it? You know what? You'll appreciate this, Rhett. Ryan, you, you eat like a bird. You eat awful foods. Um, My wife makes me. Yeah. The oh. bun is crucial. Yeah. The bun. Because I, I immediately started thinking, okay, how do I do this at home? Because they take the... Everyone does it different. Right. But at this place, Steve's Prince of Steaks, Ooh. free plug, they <laughs> slice the uh, the ribeye a little bit thicker and they don't chop it. They fry it just like you would, you know, like a, a back bacon or something like that. OK. And then they, they stack it on the bun and then the cheese and away you go. But sometimes it's the crusty buns. Right. They'll kind of hit the roof of your mouth. Not these. Carve you up. Yeah. So soft so Fun. good yeah. and then the next day i went to uh to another place now, i'll be honest I, I did everything that frank recommended i got the pizza from the place frank said i got the mm -hmm. uh, i went to the market and went to this uh, sandwich shop oh, the market. and he gave me the hard and fast uh which probably wouldn't surprise you i have a very lengthy list of uh diners and restaurants and places to eat from frank right <laughs> so we went to Denix, D Nix, got the roast pork. Get a roast pork sandwich with sharp provolone plus broccoli rob and a long hot. Didn't know really what it was. Yeah, what is that? I don't know. But we went with it. The long hot is a uh, pepper, about that long. So it's your spicy pepper. Ooh. They lay it on top. And broccoli rob is like your chopped greens on top of a roast pork. And again, the bun, nice and soft. It's different down here. It's different. Mm. We got to up our bun game. Is that what I'm hearing? In we need to up our bun game. Our okay. bun game is shit. <laughs> yeah, it's it's and I and I've heard that before. I've heard that about Philly, and even when you get into because it's you know what it is. There's cheesesteaks, but there's also as they would say the hoagies. Yeah, you go for a hoagie, hey. and uh, if you got a shitty bun, just throw it out. I think so. it's got sometimes. I've heard that it has to do with the water. It might. Really? Where I, because Frank is, again, this is no, this is not entertainment for anybody. But Frank lives outside of Philly. He lives like north of the city. So we mm -hmm. detoured, went over there. They get this place. They get their buns brought in from South Philly. So probably oh, an yeah. hour hmm. to bring in just the buns for uh, for that day. That's Fresh where that the day. buns are. We'll go for you. Drive, you order from an hour away to get them. Yep. But it's a price you pay for having high quality. I feel like high we need to quality. work on our long hot game up here too. Yeah, the long hot. I I like that. That sounds good. And th the way they do it there, I don't know how they kept it straight, mm. but they just, what do you need? And be, I'll have the uh, roast pork with the sharp provolone, broccoli rob, and a long hot, whatever uh, that. Yeah. Next. <laughs> and, and this girl on the note, on the notepad puts like P R a, like a, a line. Yeah. Yeah. Next. It's like, how the hell? And then she she still got it in her hand. It's a paper. They're not doing, there's no scanning. There's no technology at mm -hmm. play here. You go around the corner because, of course, it's lined up. Uh, who had the roast pork with the rob and the long hot? Uh, that'd be me. All right, uh, 15 bucks. Okay, yeah. How am I going to? You go around the corner. Yeah, here it is. Uh, the roast pork, uh, two roast pork with the broccoli. Yep, well done. They know what they're doing. 
they know what they're doing. So, question, because you had the young lad with you, or the mm -hmm. middle-aged lad, whatever you want to refer to him as. Mm -hmm. Was his experience with the food the same as yours? Different palates. Doesn't care. Oh, not a food guy. Mm. Yeah, not a food guy. Just something to make me not hungry. Yeah, just, uh, are you hungry? Uh, uh, chewed on a know. telephone pole and saved you some money. Yeah. So while I'm walking around looking for sandwich shops and standing in line and stuff, he's like, oh, God, Dad, like, <laughs> can't we just... You chubby bastard, can we get to the rest? Like, can't we just go to the, the <laughs> Wawa and get, like, a, a ham and cheese sandwich or something from the convenience store or something like that? No, he's not really into it. How was the market? Market's awesome. Love the market. Dude, the market was awesome. And like I've been to the the one in Seattle, which is kind of a yep. legendary market. Was a pike place. Been to Granville Market in Vancouver. Yep. This one's eh, this one's it. Now again, it depends what you're looking for. If you're looking for quilts and uh and knickknacks, uh, not embroidery. Place. If you're looking for food. If I'm looking for a hacky sack of multicolors, I can go to Vancouver, but not go to film. Vancouver. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If you're looking for weed stuff to put your weed in weed. Uh, Vancouver or Seattle would, gotcha. uh, would work fine for that. But yeah, this place was, uh, it was wild. Pretty great. Great town. If you're going, check it out. So flames and sharks, eh? Yeah. I think we've, uh, exhausted that one. I was really excited to get back for I know uh, it's your week. 8.30, 8.38. What a yeah. week. This one screams boomer. Week. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Uh, it's, and it's the first of two meetings between these two over the next two weeks. Yeah. Two of the last six against um, the lottery what, champs. What a, what a rivalry we yeah. shall have in that next game. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, already this eight? one, Dean is set up as the revenge game. Uh, yeah, it's a, a this revenge is game to the revenge game. Remember they uh, they lit up Dustin Wolf six on thirty one and Dustin Wolf back February fifteenth just Dustin took the flames to the woodshed. Yeah, team was also awful. Yeah, yeah. He'll yeah. play again tonight. This is close to his hometown. This is like the as close as you'll get to the hometown uh, coronation. Dustin Wolf's first start against the Sharks. Is that right? That's correct. Was it Tustin, California? Something like that. Greater Barrie. Really sure. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm sure he's excited about the Oakland Athletics playing in Sacramento for three years. That's, I think, the same neck of the woods. Yeah, yeah. Well, the Flames, it feels like they're kind of ready for this to be over. They're still working, but yeah, they'd rather not have they're to be ready for it to longer. be over. Right? Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. I'd agree. Mm -hmm. I think they're saying the right things. I think they're, I don't think they've packed it in altogether, but three straight losses. They've lost eight of nine. Sure have. 3 and 11 since the deadline. Oof. They're ready for this to wrap up. Wrap, just wrap it up, fellas. And what a job they've done. We're, we're now just points away from a top six pick. In the, I'll have in no complaints. Whew. There will be no, I'll, we'll hear none of it from play the kids. Why are you playing this guy? You got to get some losses. They have, keep it's been a master you're class. Whatever right? you're doing, keep Especially doing. you, Pinder. Oh, I love You've been things. flipping standings and pounding the table for play the kids. And why are you winning? They have put on quite a show. Greatest seasons since 0304. What? It's undebatable. Yeah. Is that right? Who would uh -huh. want a battle of Alberta in the second round when you could tank like this and really line yourself up for a high pick that may or may not be a player? And it yeah. wasn't a complete drudgery the whole way through. No, like they, they were put out of the playoff spot in mid-Feb. What a ride. What a ride. Aside from those shitty costumes at Edmonton for the outdoor game, it's been just a sensational year. Right? You know what? You're right, Pinder. Since then. that's That turned the season around. They dressed like Hicks once, looked themselves in the mirror, and said, "We got to stop being phonies here. Let's go play some hockey." That was and it's been quite a ride since. Yeah. Quite you said they'd lost a nine, a seven of nine, seven of eight, so a eight. Of it nine. is uh, eight of nine. Eight of nine, right? Yeah. yeah. Great yeah. team. What's that one win about, though? What are we doing? Wasn't the there? Oilers? I was hoping that'd be the exception to the rule. Yeah. No. Friggin' L.A. Uh, they even there, it's the mid that was the LA's game. fault. They, it was they, LA's they, fault. That was LA's yeah. fault. I they blame Dubois, looking, Rhett. Yeah, they had uh, they had tougher matchups, and then the Flames, they were got caught flat footed. It was they were they couldn't keep the emotion up. You're flat footed. You're flat footed. Pronate. <laughs> that's a deep cut. Real. That's old. Oh my god. Yeah, it's got some miles on it. You're flat footed. You're flat. You're flat footed. I'm mammoot. <laughs> So, yes, um, 8.30 tonight, 
Oh, baby. Buckle up, Brett. Get your Philly cheese on. What's the over-under on uh, amount of time on the game clock played before Rhett passes out into his uh, dessert slash popcorn? A 10.30 start out there? He'll see none of this. I don't think he gets halfway to the first Zero. Yeah. 10.30 is late. Good on you, boom. Good on you. 10.30 is is late. Now, can I ask this? What's up with the, 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 the app where you would go to watch highlights? Mm-hmm. Remember, you could watch the condensed games. They'd have a sure. two and a half minute, five minute, and yeah. a ten minute. Okay. Why are they no longer doing the ten minute? Or I think you have to get off the app and go to the main page. Yeah, where they still have the different lengths available. If I'm correct, I haven't been there for a while. So you need to go away from the exclusive one that you're paying for. People are moving away from the, the exclusive apps. Who needs the any- apps. Yeah, let's get back to analog. Digital's the way of the past. We're moving our stuff away from the app. Clean it up, Sportsnet. Idiots. Yeah. Anyway. Um, but even there, playing well against Winnipeg, loss. Oh, looking good against the Oil. Loss. Loss. Well done. St. Louis, couple disallowed goals. The hockey yeah. gods and the zebras are even yeah, in on yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It's so good. So good. Now, meanwhile, how about this power play? It took all the penalty kills mojo because that just blows right now. The but, power yeah. play up to 27th overall men. Oh, baby. Holy. Up to 27th, 16.9%. Wow. They have scored a power play goal in five straight games. Five straight. If this was the first five games, five. Of the year, this thing's humming at like 50%, yeah. you know, you'd be doing bad. Right. I was going to say, thank Don't God. Don't let the first they 70 games now. cloud your vision mm-hmm. here. Yeah, it's been yeah. a great power play this year. Been a great power play. In savvy, <laughs> and we trust. Hey, Kuzmenko, he's, he's been, uh, he's got four PP points in his last five games or four games or whatever it is yep. using him at the side of the net, a little un- unconventional, yeah. but it's, uh, but it's been working. And that so. Kachuk spot, he does it differently, but it's that side of the net chaos creator. It's the Kuz, it's his office, the Kuzmenko office. Wayne's Kuzmenko in office. behind. Yeah. Wayne is in behind. Wayne. Uh, Tim Kerr, right Front. at the top of the crease. Slot machine. Kuzmenko just at the, uh, the left side. There you go. Yeah. That's right. Can't wait. Hey, Sharky got 30. Sharon Govich, 30. Out of boy. Yeah. Did you say yeah. Sharky? That's what everyone's calling him. I don't know. Some people are calling him that. I was going to say, yeah, like the team socials are leaning into it, which probably means it's not like right. they could just as easily call him Sharon or anything like S H A R. Sharp, Sharpie, Sharky, Shark, anything that's. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, you know, it's not for me to say. They don't take our advice on nicknames. They sure don't. Yeah. No, they sure don't. And how about uh, Mackenzie Weger, right? One goal away from 20, a couple we points don't. away from 50. He has been steady. Oh, wow. Right? This, has not been a very, this has not been a very good year. There's a couple guys that are having good offensive seasons. Yep. But you wouldn't know. What is it about sometimes when, because remember J ball, that team, no playoffs, 20 goals, 20 goals. This guy's great. Goes and plays on a team that gets into the playoffs. Meh. Can't score. So why? Well, and it's not even the power play stuff. Cause you could argue, oh, on a shittier team, you're going to get more power play reps. He's done most of his goal scoring at even strength. I know he's got a couple on the peeper in the last little bit, but 16 even strength goals out of the 19. That's that he's not just feasting five on four here. I guess. Yeah. I guess my point is some guys that, put up big numbers while playing on bad teams or on teams that have bad seasons. Is that commendable or, or what do we make of that? I Is there anything really to be made of it? Put I much in Mackenzie Weger for the caliber of teammate he has. He's had a great year. Yeah. I wouldn't read too much into it. Yeah. So and I wouldn't him. count on him to score 20 again next year. Either. No, that's probably the career high there. And that's lovely. You take it and run. Yep. Another reason this season has been such a success. Such mm-hmm. a, success. a lot of, a lot of career a, highs. It's a bumper Great crop this year. Yeah. Bumper crop. Yeah. Playoff positions. Mm-hmm. This is really good. Really good. So good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. I'd say I uh, maybe overreacted early last year on Mackenzie Weger. Although he was. When you playing. crushed him. <sighs> When you verbally shit. beat him around the head and shoulders. I was trying to preach patience, but three months is a long time to watch the way he played, to be fair. It was not pretty. I mean, 
Eh, it wasn't terrible. It's not like the guy had the skates on the wrong feet. It wasn't I that. I just think. Was it the wrong was, pick? What was it? Because remember, this team, after that trade, was possibly better than the one from the year prior Ooh. with Matthew Kachuk and Johnny Gaudreau. They might be better this year. That did not age well. Spoiler, team. they were not. They were not. <laughs> they were not. And it went not. so well that the coach and GM were replaced and you uh, started a rebuild. Yeah. 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 Retool, yeah. Ryan. Oh, I'm sorry. The wrong R word. I'm sorry. Yeah. You've been using thoughts instead of statements. Mm -hmm. Come on. It's been a disaster since Dean's gone. This thing needs to get back on the fucking rails. Come I'm on, here. Big cat. I'm here for you, fellas. I'm here for you, buddies. Service Big Share is back for the sixth year with your chance to win a million dollars just by saving money. Anyone can enter by becoming a member and saving with service. Every $500 saved gives you five entries into the Big Share contest. A few ways to grab some quick entries. Save in a daily banking account. Fast track your savings with a high yield savings account. Invest in a GIC service has during this contest period with great interest rates and term lengths. Save in a TFSA or RRSP for those long and uh, short term goals. That'd be mm -hmm. the opposites short term, long term. Transfer your existing savings to Service Credit Union for chances to win $1 million. Contest ends April 30th, 2024. Skill test required. For rules, visit service.ca slash win. Thank you, service. Uh, I, you sent me some texts yesterday, or I guess some um, communication that you were having with Jack. Yeah, I was rather one-sided, but I did let you in on uh, the, mm -hmm. the inner workings of our producer, Jack, here. Because it was not that long ago, all we did, you talk about verbally beating people, the mm -hmm. Pittsburgh Penguins. We yes. spent the better part of this year telling you how awful it is, how un, just unacceptable it is to have this high-end Hall of Fame talent. Well, later on in their career, but still, don't suck this bad. And they have been on a real tear. And prior to the tear, things had gotten very quiet from Jack, our, our Penguins and Pittsburgh honk. Had not had much to say. But... It's ramped up, Ryan. Is that what uh, we're led to believe? Well, we had Sullivan to the sun, and then we have Sullivan back to earth. He's been good. Oh, yeah. uh, he was riding the roller coaster Saturday. They were up 4-1 on Tampa, blew that lead, then had a late winner in the final seven minutes against Tampa. Uh, it's every, Last night was the biggest game of the year, and now that switches to their next game, which will become the biggest game of the year. He is right in it, and I think they got four left, Jack. Five left? Four, yeah. Four. Like, it's – whoo. He's, he's hired and fired Sullivan six times in the last week. Now he in got fairness, fired last night. Okay. Um, this this is the the communication between Jack and Ryan. Yes. Except these are it's just a. Uh, you have to read the Times to really it's understand. Shotgun the depth texting yeah. from yeah. Jack. There. This is all Jack. There is no responses in here from Pinder. That no call was ridiculous. Buddy swinging his stick high and hits the puck. So no call. The refs are Leafs homers. <laughs> Unreal. Worst coaching decision of all time. Start OT with O'Connor, Eller, and Carlson, and they can't get off the fucking ice. <laughs> Sullivan back to the sun and whoever runs the PP. Complete morons. So it was good. <laughs> Things were good. It's the Matt until... Canada thing we saw with the Steelers like six yeah. months ago. Jack, what happened? They got a point. I know, but it was, it's frustrating. Why the hell is Lars Eller, Drew O'Connor... Carlson's fine. Why are they out there? Lars start fucking Eller. And mm. if it's to win a face-off, good. He won the face-off. Get, Get the off. fuck off the ice. <laughs> Eller fucked up twice in overtime. Eller thought he was a hero. Well, I'm with you, Jack. And then they couldn't get off. They've got good players there. They don't need and, to go to the Lars Eller well in overtime. Eller could have got off. He was too fucking stupid to do it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Right? That's the Dallas Aikens right there. Just unloading on Eller. No, it's true. They, it, they'd been out there too long. They finally forced. He's pushing the puck out of the zone. He's got a chance to sprint to the bench and get off because he's dying. And no, I'm going to stay out here and not get off. And then he can't fucking keep up. I'm with Jack. That guy's an idiot. This mm. is unreal. So we got Rhett in the same. They're, they're both full, full uh, yellow and black panties today. Whatever Jack unreal. wants, I'm all for. I'm a, I'm a big supporter of the Jack attack. That's I your like boss. It. I get it. Yeah. 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 Uh, Jack, in my folder, I've kind of got to look at the, uh, at the Eastern wild card and like yesterday there was five days leading up to last night 
different in the second and final wild card spot, different team. Yeah. Rotating. Detroit Islanders. It, it, it was just constantly rotating. So Detroit mm-hmm. is that was there yesterday. They remain there today. Ooh. That's a look at what is left. Look at the points. They're tied. Detroit's got the game in hand. Now they do have a game against the Islanders and Detroit Islanders. You don't see here. They're in the three hole in the Metro, but they're right there, Dean. Yeah. Um, 85, I think for the Islanders. So Philly, Washington, 83, Pittsburgh and Detroit, 84. And then, and I do, Islanders we can look at the Eastern, uh, the Eastern setup in, in a second, but it's, uh, it's time. I give them credit. I did not think that the Penguins were getting back in, and I certainly didn't think that the Islanders were going to be a part of this mix. We talked about it yesterday. The, the Pittsburgh looked lost when they blew that lead on a Ginla night here, and you're like, holy shit. Like, this team, how? With these yeah. stars, with all these Hall of Famers, like, they're just done. Do you feel like they've maybe squandered some points along the way, Jack? Those points would be really valuable now, oh, it feels yeah, like. yeah, tons. Well, yeah. and then it was the game after that, the Colorado one, where they're up four one. Oh, that's right. Blow it. Sunday season's over, and mm-hmm. then they've rallied since then. Yeah. Don't count Sid out, folks. Sid's unbelievable. Sid's been unbelievable. And on the flip side, maybe do count Sid out. This could be the second year in a row where they might lose game eighty one or eighty two to eliminate them. Oof. So there you see it. So, you're, so it was 83, 84. There's Detroit in the wild card, and then there's the Islanders. Yeah, in this mix, but they're not home and cooled. Nope. They've currently got that third spot at 85 oh it's a little you know it's a little bit of a little excitement yeah it's good five teams for two spots there's something to play for out east love it yeah so good no sabers though a retro sabers in that uh i love it except all the people in buffalo are like well they still get a chance hey no what are you talking (laughs) put down the bottle yeah The West not as exciting. They got four games left, and they're five out. What are you talking about? Dude, the past four they're teams. To... There's people are. Jeez. It's called. Yeah, I'm. Cooler. I'm fond of some individuals, but in general, people are stupid. Yeah, it's fair. really. Uh, so there's the West wild card. Vegas losing in regulation to Vancouver yesterday. They had leads two nothing and three to one, and lose four to three. So they sit in that uh, in that second spot. But this yeah. is, you know. Nashville can clinch tonight. Nashville can clinch. The Kings can clinch tonight. The Rangers, Stars, Bruins can all win their division titles. I mean, it's a little unlikely, but the the path is there with if they win and there's some losses. But we're we're pretty much there. Yeah, in the West. Yeah, we don't know the matchups exactly, but we've got a good idea. It could still be Vegas, Edmonton in the two three. Um, man, the Flames get Vegas is second if they get through round one. You want to see them out of that bleeping wild card. Or maybe line up with Vancouver. I don't know. Like that pick sounded either. really tasty at the time of that deal was made. And now you're looking at them as they might get Dallas around one. Good night. 10 days left in the regular season. Yeah. Up for grabs. Five playoff spots. Three in the West, two in the East. All eight first round matchups to be determined. Yep. The President's Trophy winner, the number one seed in both conferences, the, the top, the all four division winners. Mm hmm. Home ice in round one for five of the teams and the Art Ross trophy. Art Ross has been unreal. Yeah. Those uh, three donkeys are going to go right down to the wire here. Yeah, McKinnon's dinged up. I I, kind of think like it might be two guys, but he's also only got four games. He got hurt against Edmonton on the weekend. I don't like that at all. So what we're telling you, this is exciting stuff. Buckle up. This is so, I mean, I'm buzzing. Are you? (laughs) Catch the excitement. Look at Dean right now. Look at me. Ride that wave. Woo! So excited. God, he's in rough shape. Now, oh. just to, to let people in on the... Uh, anytime I used to go on vacation, I would come back and be sick, and what would happen? Um, You'd get berated. You would get, uh, again, get, a verbal like, beating. Yeah, A pile driver from you continually until I was healthy again. Yeah. How are you feeling? Not great. How was your trip? Awesome. Yeah, Do you feel the need that maybe it, would we help you recover if we made fun of you and mocked you for a bit, or are we good? Oh, I think it would really help. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I, it would make me feel <laughs> whole ill or wore out because I know it helped me for the decade that you did that. Yes, you know what? It's a little bit of both. It's it was ex- it was a lot for an old guy. Even the but even the kids wore out. It's it a long way too, to go. Apparently. Frank was saying it was fucking cold at those. Yeah, the first night was like zero with wind. Ah, uh, it wasn't. Yeah, Frank's that jacket. Bad. 
Yeah, I've got, uh, we'll put together, I got a little something that I'll put together. I didn't get it done in time for today's show, but um, yeah, it was chilly. So you, a little chilly, but long days, riding subways, Exciting. doing lots. When, when you go on one of these trips with your kid, what, whatever the kid wants, you know, this is kind of a, this is a big one. You want to, you want to stay a little bit longer. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? So you just do everything. And, uh, yeah, the old boy's a little, a little wore out, a little wore out. And it was a little chilly the one night, but anyway, I'm here. I mean, I'm not there, but I'm here. Does yeah. You're, you're, you're playing hurt. It's brave. Yeah. I'm fine. It's just kind of what it is. Uh, so yes, flames tonight, eight 30. Can't wait sharks. And then, uh, uh, it's the Kings later or something. And then the ducks. So can't wait yeah. for that. Now I'm going to, uh, you know, before I just want to get this in and then I'm going to hand mm. over the reins. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because do you know that there's a surprise today, Rhett? I I saw a glimpse of a. Mm -hmm. of We've been talking while you were gone. Yeah. 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 You're making plans for your funeral and uh, the show, how it looks after you die. Oh, I'm not so fortunate. <laughs> I'll be laid up for <laughs> years. That's what it'll be. Okay. Uh, Cal Tire. Whether you're an owner operator or have a small fleet of trucks, Cal Pro Plus is the dedicated tire program just for you. So listen up. It's a free program. Provides access to exclusive deals and savings, a price match guarantee, flexible finance, financing options, and preferred pricing on everything you drive, including your own family's vehicles. Again, free program. Your dedicated member support is on hand to answer questions and recommend and source the best tires for your application and budget. Across the network of 260 plus Cal Tire stores, they're there to help with your tire program. So you can focus on the road ahead. Sign up for free at calproplus.com. So what do you get? As we mentioned, exclusive deals on tires, annual members only details, uh, deals and details on Bridgestone, Firestone, one free flat tire repair per year, preferred member pricing on everything you drive, upfront uh, credits, you bring in your old tires, make money for new ones, financing options with dedicated member support. They'll recommend the best tread and compound for the conditions and vehicles that you've got, best pricing, check and monitor inventory. It is a all-encompassing program, which again, is free. Check it out at calproplus.com. That is K-A-L proplus.com. I'm excited for this. I don't know Are what it, I don't know what you'd even classify it as. I don't know how you'd describe it or or any of that. But mm -hmm. um, this has been in our ether. This has kind of been in our our pocket here for a week, ten days, two weeks. Yeah, that's highlight. And we've yeah we've had some questions. We've been intrigued. We've been excited. Yeah. And I I, I don't know how it happened, but it's all about to go down right here in the show. This is when you take over, Ryan. Yeah, no, this is when uh, Jack's supposed to play the intro. It's a new yeah. day. We're going to the blackjack table, bidding 10 cents for every follower. Let's get after it. Boom, motherfucker! Day one, 3K in the books. Welcome into day six. Day nine. Day 28. Day 37. 38. It's day 50. It is day 60. Going to blackjack and bidding 10 cents for every Instagram follower I've got. Yes. 3750. God, give him a nine. Yes. Oh, this game is bullshit. Profi baby. <laughs> Sweet baby infant Jesus. Make it low. <laughs> oh my God. It's yes. 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 See you tomorrow. You know we'll be bidding even more. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Tim.Naki on Instagram. It is Tim Myers, the Calgary Kiwi Blackjack legend live in studio. Gents, how are we? An absolute pleasure to join you there today. And, and cheers for the beers, guys. The old barn Oh, is that a barn burner blonde, blonde right there? He, and absolute I don't know if you heard treat. through the accent, it's beers. Uh, that's beers. plural. He's, uh, beers. He doesn't he's not getting like bogged down by any of this day job shit right we've been talking about this like in the future we won't we don't need all this Ooh, show up Not when you're winning paid. 150 large on a single hand of black I asking Pinder, at, at what age does it become a problem like getting pissed up on a tuesday you told me yeah. i've got at least 10 years left in me so we're good <laughs> that's my opinion my wife said it's you're 10 years too late for it so i he signed know. his name off on it yeah i i've, I've written his permission slip he's allowed yeah. to get uh day drunk today with us on the show Oof. So just some context for this. Pinder yes. brought this in during the Pinder report. Now, did you did you have a, a an inkling or did you know that this was a Calgary guy 
when we started playing it because the all first, I remember is yeah. it was okay, here's a guy playing putting big money down, Instagram followers for blackjack. And then looking in the back, I said, that looks like looks like Calgary. And then the next day, is that guy got a flames toque on? The internet's a big thing, right? Like it could be anywhere in the friggin' yes. world. Especially and then with, with the, the accent. accent, you're like, what are, the, Calgarian. what are the friggin' odds that this guy's in Calgary? Well, sure as shit, guy's in Calgary. So did you know, Pinder, when this started, that this was there was a Calgary tie here? I think someone had sent it to me and may have noted it was Calgary or it was a Calgary tire in the background or the toque. But either yeah. way, it made it on the show because I knew it was Calgary. And then from Explain there, it was yourself. like, look, like this, yeah. the city's not that big. Someone could be able to reach out. We got to get this guy on the show. All Absolutely. right, Tim, explain yourself. What you've got the accent. Pinder loves the fact that it's Kiwi and this, he just keeps it. Hey, Kiwi, you guys, Kiwi. Kiwi. Yeah, it's Kiwi. 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 We're the Calgary Kiwi. Give us your, tell us what, what is your story? Well, this, Pinder's got a, he's got a down under connection for sure, obviously. But uh, look, the, the missus and I shifted out here. Uh, September 2022. So I've obviously, um, I guess, been kicking about for some time. Um, I I can't really give you too much insight into why I even started doing this. I've I've grown up from like a horse racing family back home. I've always loved a bit of a punt. Degenerate. Uh, You're a degenerate. degenerate, degenerate. Yeah, okay. A, a, a reprobate <laughs> almost makes it sound a little bit classier. Does it? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Depends how good the person's vocabulary is you're talking to, I suppose. But yeah, so I, a bit of a degenerate and um, always loved a bit of a cheeky gamble. Why I started doing the 10 cents before, I don't even, I just thought it would be a bit of a gag. In my wildest dreams, I was like, okay, maybe, just maybe, somehow the internet's a weird thing and things go viral. It could get to like 50,000 followers and I might find myself doing a $5,000 bet. How many uh, did you have when you started? How many Instagram followers? 15,000. So it's like a lot of people joining recently have, I guess, have a common misconception. They're like, holy shit, this guy's like just fucking ballers. Got yeah. this freaking multi-millionaire bloke who's just throwing around cash. It's not actually like that. I started with a $1,500 bet, which is still a sizable yeah. amount of cash. Like that's, sure. I'm not pissing on that. Like that's a lot of money. And I guess like it was just lucky we won four in a row and then we're just off to the races, right? Like we've been in profit the entire way. It's just, I would not encourage anyone to try this. Like it's not a way to make money. It is just a stupid, insane, nonsensical run <laughs> that makes no fucking sense, but it's happening. But how did, I guess just the, the initial ideal or the idea, I'm going to take the number of followers and sure. 10 cents. That original thought process is that the dead, your idea? Did somebody come up with it? Was there something similar that was done it was on the internet? All me. I, I had actually seen a guy do, uh, I guess it's not entirely my idea. I'd seen this guy who was walking. He was trying to change his back in fitness and health and well-being. And he started walking one inch for every follower. And I it had got to like, it had got to like 800,000 followers. This guy was like walking a half marathon every day. And I was like, well, I mean, shit, I don't want to do that. But I mean, no. if I, I could find something that's a little bit more catered to my my own personal hobbies. A and reprobate, so, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And so I was like something in the gambling sphere. I was like, oh, this would be like, I picked a level that I was like, okay, I'm comfortable with doing this. Because like, I, and I chose a game like Blackjack where it's like, well, the odds are stacked just minutely towards the casino where it's like, well, you're going to win a few, lose a few. You probably lose a couple more than you win, but it's okay. Um, you know, if it, if it grows, whatever, it's just going to be a bit of fun. And you go into it thinking, oh, I'm comfortable losing an amount, like that amount. You know, going mm -hmm. forward, now it's exponential, and it's like the, the my ass was doing these ones every time. I, I guess, yeah, you're puckered tight. Yeah. So, so the last, you, sorry, sorry, last you, bet was yesterday, you, wasn't it? Yeah, yesterday. Yep. Yeah. How did you get to fifteen thousand? Because that's that's not an insignificant number. Uh, don't even really know. <laughs> like, I don't know. I've, I've, um, I guess I've like before starting this. I guess I've put up like, I love horse racing, and I've done like streams and stuff where I'm going through horse racing fields down under and doing stuff in that sphere. And I guess growing a little bit of, enough of a follow in doing that. Um, and yeah, I, I just, it's slowly built over the, I guess years. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it took me three years or whatever to get the 15,000 and now two months to get to 650 it's it's not it really it's it, it defies all logic that's crazy i was going to ask you so on a daily basis how many followers are you getting oh it's d d disgusting amount now yeah, <laughs> yeah. For, the, for, for the size of the bit I, I laugh about it because it just 
that's that's the only way you can handle it. Laugh or cry. I'm choosing the laugh approach. But it is so fun. How, yeah. I should say, like, I'm gonna finish it in profit. Like, I'm not a complete freaking moron. Like, there's no way. And I've uh, stumped it. Like, I've got a partnership to come out of this going forward. That was never the original intention, but it's just transpired. So there's gonna be some good come out of this for me personally. Um, even though that was never what I set out to do. Um, I was just having fun. So again, and we showed the video at the start, just so everybody's kind of up to, you started playing one hand of blackjack a day yep. with 10 cents for every follower you have, that being your bet. Well, I have yesterday's. Do you want to watch that? That might be the move. And then it continued. And, and like you said, you're in, you're in the plus. Yep. And uh, I guess I'm just wondering. What what were the thresholds where you're like, holy shit? Like, was, this is a ten thousand oh, dollar bet. This yeah, is a tw sure. I'm betting twenty five thousand dollars on a single hand of blackjack. Uh, where where did the you talk about puckering? Where were the yep. big puckers? The 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 thresholds of puckering along the line. I think ten thousand was definitely like this is getting out of control. <laughs> well, not out of control. But I was like, this is a lot. Fortunately, we were well and truly in the green. Then mm -hmm. twenty. Um, it was weird. 10 was like daunting. 20 to 30, it was like, okay, we're just in the in the rhythm now. I don't know. I guess it was becoming just not natural, but I guess I was just so used to it and I was doing it every day. And it was just like routine that I guess for a hot second there, maybe the financial aspect kind of stopped being relevant for a second, which is not yeah. a good thing, by the way. Um, <laughs> and then... Beyond that, like it gets to forty, and you're like, "Oh, this is uh, tension." Well, it's like when you when you're That's at the I casino, myself, like yeah, now when I'm, you're at the casino and you've got the chips. Oh, they're just pieces of plastic. Oh, you know, exactly. it's just real money. You yeah. know, it's just whatever. Just put the chips down. Exactly. Retro, what's the most you've bet on a single hand of blackjack? Oh, Me? No, oh, Red uh, Warner. I'm not. I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't go as well as Tim's, obviously. <laughs> Mrs. You're not angry. He dare not say yeah, she's an ear shot. Yeah, because I, I think for the normal person, for me, okay, I'll, I'm gonna, I'm, I might do it. I'm gonna do a hundred bucks, and then oh, I got to double down or I got to split. So you, oh, then you God. put another one. Then you're splitting again. All of a sudden, you, oh my God, I got three or four or five hundred dollars on a single hand, and then that's, I mean, for me, that's the absolute level i've never been which is why and i do like i like i love vegas i like blackjack so i was kind of sucked in by this um even even now when you're in the green putting this kind of money down oh, man. it's That's a rush it's a there's got to be some real butterflies as you're clicking because oh, yeah. it's I, on and again it's all online correct 100 yeah. percent. yeah so i don't film them live daily because i kind of like to keep the suspense i guess but there's normally like 15 to 20 minutes of pace in the apartment <laughs> getting myself cheat up to yeah to actually sit in the chair and do it because it does like it is fucking daunting yeah. so um it is fun like i should i that's number one it is still fun if it ever stops being fun i'm gonna stop because i mean why carry on um but yeah, it is at a level now. I'm at, I'm at a position now where I'm contemplating like 10 cents per follower is pretty heavy. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do 10 cents per follower again today. And if this one goes to shit, well, then there'll probably be a drop. I at this point would like to state, I told Pinder and, and Jake and here um, that uh, I'm 0 and 2 when talking to media. So oh. if, if this is a loss today, this is all on the barn burner. We're not media. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is not media. You're That's right. Uh, Just a bunch of lads having a yarn. Well, he said right. if he's done today, there's no more of this. No more interviews. Yeah. No more bullshit. Yeah, this will be three strikes and I'm out. No more media. I'm on a blackout. He needs some of that boomer karma. Now, do you want to watch today's? That did he draw? Would he publish it last night or this morning or when was? Yesterday's one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So let's you want because you're saying like trying to explain what's happening. Let's watch one together here and see Tim. So is reaction. this the latest one? We don't this know. Is this latest. is all right. Day 62, going to blackjack and betting 10 cents every Instagram follower I've got. There are 602,000 of you degenerates in here now. So we have a $60,200 bet coming right up. All right, day 62. And by God, if things grow exponentially overnight again, we have a $60,200 bet to do today for the 602,000 of you in here. It's all going on the nose. Cross your fingers, cross your toes, invert your penis. It looks like a 
Olivia Rodrigo has fallen on hard times here. We see her on the felt. Two's ugly. Six plays a seven. That is the easiest of hits you'll ever come across. We're looking for three, four, or five here because that seven is menacing. Go low. Sixteen playing a seven. There's too many cards that will improve her hand. We will hit again. No guts, no glory. I need to see low. No ten, ten here for me. My fair maiden. It's Fuck. Close. The win streak's over. Oh, she had 17. It was the right call. Ugh. Oh, it's okay. Two wins back to back. We break it with a loss. And I'll see you tomorrow when we'll be betting even more. <laughs> Disgusting. Ah! Yeah, I'm old. But the two before, as you two noted, before, good. Actually, very big wins. You know what? There was like three. Po I hadn't in. Uh, shit, when did the pushes start? In 57 or 58 days, I yep. hadn't had a single push. Yeah. If you know Blackjack, like that's actually insane to go that long without totally. like, having a draw. And then I got three in a row. And then those two wins. So I yeah. actually. Those, but those pushes, I was like, there was nothing lost, nothing gained, but there was like 40,000 extras coming in every day. So the bet was going up so yeah. much, which is what really drove it. And it's, uh, oh, yeah. What's the bank at now? Uh, I think it's three. I can double check for you here. <sighs> I don't like saying it aloud because, like, yeah. even though I'm doing yeah. oh, I will do it. I'll say it for you. But I, even though I'm publicly tracking it, it sounds like almost like an asshole to say it aloud. It's a heater. You started with 1500. You. But it's, it's at 394. Oh! Okay, yeah. So in your mind, because it's kind of like that casino thing, when you get up, when am I leaving? Yeah. And sometimes if you're at the if you're at the table, you're making okay. So this was my there's my initial investment. I'll just put that. I'm gonna put that in my pocket. And then this is yep. the house money. I'll, do you have that dollar figure? Get Half a million. Pocket, yeah. And then uh, I'm, I'm then I'm deleting just, my account and I no one's changing all the time. Like it was it was. It was going so good earlier. Then I was like, "Oh shit, we're at 100." I was like, "I'm, I'm going to finish this with 100," and then I guess like that's doubled since. And again, it just feels like such an asshole to even be talking about those kind of yeah, things. Yeah, but, but um, yeah, like I'm going to finish with a. There's going to be a healthy six-figure final today <laughs> for me. Yeah, it's it's it is oh, ridiculous. It's so rad. Do you know what's good to kind of say? Also, it's like once upon a time that was so life-changing, but it's just like. It's going to facilitate a lot of travel for me and the missus here now, which is like, well, we're just in our travel years. I yeah, guess, Tim, of. you just lost $60,000. I know. Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, I know. It's all in the name of a good time. This is what I was like, but I've got some goods coming out of it. I've got a, a partnership going forward. So I was like, well, now it's almost like investing in yourself to carry on. But mm -hmm. at the same time, while I'm saying like, if today was to be a dud and a loss, then there would have to be a very serious um, reassessment of the, the bet level. Cause it's yeah, just like when you get, when you get shot in call of duty, Ah, oh, it's a video game. Yeah, respawn. respawn. You yeah, just yeah. lost sixty-two and a half yeah. thousand dollars. You can't respawn. Real money. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, that's the, awesome. The yeah. smaller totals, you get to pick your dealer, and you were riding. Okay, we got to go with the lady. We got to go with yes. the dude. But now you're at the high stakes table. You don't get to pick your dealer. Was that freaking you out for a this, bit? It is true. I'll kind of walk. I'll, I'll sometimes duck in there and be like, "Oh, look at the looking dodgy looking bastard today." I walk a few more laps. I walk a few more laps to the apartment. I'll come back in 10 minutes and see if there's been a change. I need to get the roster of all these employees somehow. I can, I can, I can pick and choose my dealer as we go. But need the shift times. That's I what do. you need. Like yeah. it, was, it was good when it was below when it was below 20. I was it's had multiple, but and then like it got to 20 to 40. Then I had like five tables to choose from. Now we've got one. Yeah. There's only one. You just whatever's on there, that's who we've got. And pray to the punting gods. Have you who has come out of the woodwork for you? Like, what's the most crazy? Like, this is kind of a brush with stardom in a really short amount of time. What's the craziest, like, pinch yourself thing that's happened? Uh, so, Bert Kreischer, comedian, was on like early, so early. And, like, not just I had some DMs, like, he was sharing it to a story every day. That probably helps, obviously, grow it exponentially. Um, Kelly Slater, pro surfer, like, two days yeah, ago, nice. I got a DM from him. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Why? I was telling you, Pinda, I, I won't name him, but had uh, my first flame uh, reach out yesterday. So that was fucking, I was pretty chuffed with that. Um, Mrs. probably thought I was having an affair. I was staring at my phone so blankly for so long. But uh, no, it was just one of the flames. Uh, a man I'm a big fan of. So yeah, it's, uh, it's good. And it's he said the good. fellas like to gather around and watch yeah, The fellas have been watching, the, watching them all together. So it's uh, <laughs> hell yes. Get me on the ice. <laughs> now, do you do it at the same time It'll every day, drop. or is it whenever you feel like it? Uh, pretty much whenever I feel like. It's just I didn't want to get into a routine because, like, gambling's it is just such it's all luck. It's all luck. 
It's like, uh, I won't make it too much of a sit routine of it. I'll change up the times a little bit, you know. Um, sometimes I'll get up in the morning and do it straight away and then go about my day. Sometimes I'll do it in the other. I, I, um, I've got a buddy who edits the video, so I'll sit down and it's normally like a two to three minute, well, actually a little bit longer, maybe five minute recording of the whole ordeal. Um, and my buddy back in NZ, he he clips them into, um, edits them into 60 second reels. So he can turn them around in about 90 minutes, so it doesn't really matter what time of day I do it. But I, I normally like to post it between like 5 and 6 p.m. daily, Calgary time. Have you ever thought about, okay, that was a big win. Maybe we're on a heater. Yep. I'm going to change my shirt, put on a different, <laughs> you know, I'm going I'm to, and then that, we're going to keep things going. We're going to get oh. about three or four hands here while no, we're on a roll. And then, Eva. Uh, hey, it's uh, the Thursday time for another, <coughs> you know, it's... the problem with that, I, w- I would have to, I would have to guesstimate uh, guess, what yeah, the, the following day's followers were going to be, which right now was non impossible. Um, yeah. And it's You're just gaining I, so many every day. It's yeah, it's, it's hard to tell. And I've been so, di- that's the, like, it's actually, been, I've been so disciplined and everyone's like, oh, you must be having a cheeky punt, like on blackjack, like offline. Nah. I found a loop. I found a loophole, and I've ex- I'm exploiting it, and I'm not going back. One and done every day. And even when we we're in Vegas, it was so funny. Like I went and did a few. Like uh, I was down there for the NRL in Vegas, and that's um, rugby, yeah, r- okay. rugby, yeah. And so we had uh, four days on the felt there, and the the casino staff they were loving it. But it was like I'd walk in there, and then all the dealers in the high roller room would just like turn. It was like whatever their tables are doing. They're like, oh, this bloke's back. That it was one and done again, and it was just. That's it. Just one and done. You can not believe it. You're going back to Vegas right away here. Now you're trying to find a place that'll let you film. Is that right? Yeah. I've had a couple reach out. I think I'm sorted. It's actually, it's actually not that easy to find somewhere. Yeah. You are they don't like cameras in the, in the Nino. No, yeah. no, not at all. In the majority of them. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's like a handful that are, I, eventually it'll become. Well, like, you're big enough now. It's a promotional thing for the moment. Yeah. And with yeah. the way social media is going and stuff, it's just, why wouldn't you? It's free promotion. Like, yeah. it's, it's nothing dodgy going on by filming your own hands. I don't actually even know why it was ever a, a thing that you can't film your own play in there. I'm, I'm not sure. They must have their reasonings. But, yeah, so I think we're all sort of on that front. Yeah. it's The problem is finding someone that will let me. Bet that high. Yeah, I would say I would say there's no way they'll let me do the amount I need to, like, to do 10 cents per follower. Because it's one and done. If you were going to sit there and play for a while. Yeah, they want to be able to. Because of the casino house edge, they know they'll pro- they're likely to end up coming out on top. But if you're going to sit down and just do one and done, then they're probably not going to let me do the limit that would be 10 cents per follower, which is fine. Like it's still going to be a big bet. Like I'm yeah. sure they'll let me do 20, 30,000 USD, something like that, which is ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a, going to be a movie like that NIT group that went in there and tried to bust Vegas. It's going to be you. I would love yeah, to bring it down the house. Wasn't that yeah. the name of the book? Love Brad Pitt. Is he going to play you in the, uh, in the motion picture? Uh, uh, Washington. So beyond <laughs> that, have you thought, because with the, uh, the followers have you thought okay this is blackjack what else can we do like i'm going to eat a donut for every <laughs> for every follower i'm i'm going to uh, take uh, whiskey shots or tequila for, oh, uh, right. for you know start branching out tim don't get I, lazy no i actually did see a bloke he started drinking one mil of beer every day for every follower and he got to like five liters in a day he did work pretty well to get there and he's like nah, <laughs> I got, i've got a cool time on this and you got to be a little bit careful i suppose because the internet holds you very accountable if you put your name to something like e- even when i like i put a poll up yesterday voting like all right are we ready to drop to five cents per follower or do you would you prefer it stayed at 10? It's like unanimous. You started at 10 cents before I stay with 10 cents before I I'll veto it eventually if shit hits the fan yeah. today. Um, not today, Tim. Not I don't today. like that energy. Not today, baby. But like, yeah, the, the, they do hold you very accountable. So if you're going to publicly put your name to something and your face, especially your face to something, um, you've got to pull through with it. So it's got to be something pretty attainable, which, well, if you'd asked me two months ago if, doing these current hands was going to be attainable, I would have said, fuck no. You will, I will never, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, who knows really? Uh, it's nice to see someone it. winning, hey? You know, I, like, I just, I feel like sometimes you're the king of the bad beats. Yes. This guy's just on our heater. So your House first bet was, was $1,500. Yep. Now you're, uh, you mentioned your lady. Is that, what, is it a Sheila? Is that the is that just uh, Aussie or common uh, Sheila? I'm not Sheila. Sure. Uh, anyway. so, uh, probably more Aussie, but Kiwis, yeah. Okay. okay. Still was there a yeah, speaking of thresholds? Was there a, a spot from where you were just an idiot wasting money? What the f are you doing? And then 
uh, okay, honey, yeah, uh, you you can keep going now. It was did you get? I really like the idea of shit? Paris in yeah, the summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, there is a Euro trip coming up, so I, I yeah. think I've got away with I've got away with my recklessness by putting that on the table. Um, I don't think there was a. F- uh, she's pretty good. Like she understands. I've I've worked hard and I've you know I've made money in my life. Whatever the, f- the friggin' hell of whatever I've done, spend it however you want. I suppose if there was kids around, it would be a very different story, but we're still in those reckless and selfish years. You're just flushing university tuition just, every day. Yeah, Christ. we're just, we're, we're in those selfish and reckless years still. So she's, I would say tolerant. She doesn't love it. To- yeah, I would say tolerant. And then she doesn't love the recognition around town or anything. That's for certain. But um, Calgarians, Canadians, but certainly Calgarians, so polite. I mean, geez, I had to start finding people to help drink the booze around me at the Flames game on Saturday because people would just keep turning up and putting beers in front. I was like, <laughs> I can only fucking buff so many of these. And like, people are so friendly. It's like, I've, I've got to buy you one back. Like, nah, take it. Uh-huh. Love what you do. Have this beer. Oh, geez, how the hell am I going to get through all these things? But Winners win. It's a good problem to have. <laughs> it's a it's a great problem to have. I can find some tickets if you want to. You know, there's some, some home games. Oh, there's there's Pender. Yeah, Pender's always <laughs> there. <laughs> But just by the way, you guys don't know how lucky you are. I know it was a battle of Alberta, but you don't know how lucky you are to have a dead rubber. Oh, I guess it's not a dead rubber if it's battle of Alberta, is it? But to have a get your teams out of the playoffs. If that was in New Zealand in a rugby, you, there wouldn't be ten percent of that stadium fill. Yeah, well, team no wouldn't be here if it was that empty. But yeah, a yeah. dead rubber. I was just trying to figure the other one out too. Yeah, yeah. If it, if there's nothing on the line, but I, uh, it's, I guess there is something on the line if it is a battle of Alberta. Right? Well, get ready for it tonight, Tim. Yeah, and yeah, sharks, game of the sharks and flames. It'll be a dead rubber in San Jose tonight. That's Kicking it is the match of the century. Yeah. yeah, it really is. See, and I, I, I think we've got to find out. You, you've got to keep this going. We got to, if this, if the blackjack thing goes sideways, we're going to, you're going to be a millionaire. And I'm, I'm not even joking. <laughs> you have, you, you, this is your thing. The internet, the world is about finding your thing and you've got it. You still and got the half million, six hundred thousand followers, whether this thing goes or not. I, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, because if you just disappear and stop them. doing stuff, I'm like, well, where was that guy? Well, shit. I said to my bu- oh, my buddy who edits the clips, I was like, what? If, wouldn't it be funny if at the end of it all, I just deleted my account? I think that'd be funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just see you, see you later. Where is that guy? What, what are you paying him? He probably started doing that for free. <laughs> yeah, Jeez, yeah, he yeah. wants a slice now. Yeah. Do you ever have people that think it's bullshit that you're you're faking yeah. it? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Like humans were a cynical bunch, right? Um, Dean and, thinks it's bullshit, by the way. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Like I, I can understand that, which is why I went to Vegas. So I was like, well, like it is. This is legit, and I'll go and legitimize it. I'll go down there. It would be nice. I, you can't film in Canada at all. I've, I've been told off for taking a photo of my slot machine if I've had a win. Like you really, or you can't record anything. It's really that super strict okay. um, here. And obviously, even we're talking about some of Vegas's, but yeah. So got down there few good hands and whatnot get back down there again soon but yeah no i suppose i i do understand the um the skepticism but i i think online casino in new zealand's probably um i was gonna say we're progressive but i don't think it's a good thing to be progressive in the online gambling um industry but yeah i i just think like i was telling pinder there's like four casinos in our entire country so i suppose if you're partial to a bit of a punt and you want to get on the foul or whatever um like you said, you have to drive five hours. I mean, the closest casino to me would be five hours. From yeah. your house. Yeah. Yeah from, yeah, from where I live. So if you're partial to that sort of thing, then your only option is to play online. So you, um, so it's more secure, more trustworthy, you're suggesting? Yeah, like it is. There, I guess there's a common misconception that it is dodgy or, yeah. you know, sketchy or, you know, fraudulent, but no doubt there would be some very sketchy operations out there. I don't have any doubts about that. But this, you do your due diligence and you can – like if you plan a legitimate site or whatever, it tells you like there's particular licenses that are like more legitimate than others. You yeah. just do your research and stuff. But yeah, in New Zealand, it's very common practice now to like to play on these sites or to play online casino because we don't have actual casinos right. accessible unless you're in Auckland or one of the other three major cities. Do you ever question that that it's because I it's online, right? You're trusting. Yep. That this this online gaming, the casino, whatever it is, is legit. Do you ever question that it's that it's real? That you're getting the cards that you would get if it were real life, and you were at the table. 
Uh, not so much. I mean, Vegas, they have so many uh, electronic shufflers now anyway that it's yeah. you're putting a lot of faith in those freaking things as well. So not really. Um, and, I mean, shit, if it was rigged, I must be an incredible exception to the rule because, I mean, we're up over the long the long haul yeah. here, right? Um, oh God, I'm really tempting fate. It's by, Big Casino here. They planted him. This is a, he's a, he's tempting, been planted by Big Casino. I'm, I'm tempting fate by saying um, – that were you know an exception to the rule but yeah yeah someone did tell me that the other i i'd learned the term industry plant for the first time the other day yeah i had no idea what that even meant someone's like you're an industry plant I was like, what the fuck is that am i a fern what am i what are you talking about um but yeah no i i've i suppose the first time like the first time i ever deposited into one's like a tiny amount right because you're like well shit if it's if i lose 50 100 bucks well it's not gonna change my life it's not gonna upset my entire life so you try that and then you know you have a win you cash out you say oh it's all legitimate and all that stuff and then i mean like you have to i guess like you have to verify and all that stuff like that you're with a passport or a driver's license mm -hmm. and all that shit like it's it's just too legitimate it's too regulated now um for me to worry about it but i i understand like if someone was getting into it like you would be very very find the secure place yeah. yeah 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 but I, in saying that, I would not advocate for anyone to go and do it. Like, as stated, uh, if you're going to gamble, you're always going to lose in the long run. Yeah. Like, your house always wins in the end. Sure. So, have you been a were you a Flames fan before you moved to Calgary, or did that kind of start when you were when you moved here? I was an NHL fan. I liked ice hockey before coming here. I didn't have a set team, um, and then obviously we sit on Calgary. Uh, and went to a Flames game and just hooked, hooked straight away. I think the first game we the first game we went to was the home opener, uh, 2022 versus the Avs, who were defending champs. Yes, we won. Fantastic game. Um, and that just was a great year. Hook it was hook line and sinker. Yeah, yeah, absolutely love it. Best live, best sport on the planet to watch live. And I don't say that I'm not bullshitting because I'm on a a hockey podcast like i genuinely believe that is the best sport to watch live i love bringing aussies and it keeps to be similar because mm. if you have an appreciation for rugby hockey is just like holy fuck it's even faster oh, yeah. it's as physical you're yeah. allowed to fight there's no out of bounds you're running into glass yeah. like people that love rugby it's an easy conversion it is it really is and it's just it's it's when you go to a game live it's so much easier to follow the park as well like now that i've been to live games and i guess you can anticipate play a bit better now i can watch on tv and yeah. enjoy it more as well but it is, it's just fuck the action, man. It's and fast. Yeah. The only thing I used to think, oh, I wish they didn't have an 18 minute break between periods, but actually I kind of like it. Cause I've more, I got a child's bladder. I go take a piss, get a few more beers and come back. I've only got like four <laughs> minutes to wait. So it's actually perfect. And I've thought well, about especially it, with all it, these beers you're getting now for free at the place. Yeah, they've, they've, they've thought about everything. This sport. I'm a lot about. of pissing. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Um, Oh shit! I forgot, I forget what I was going to say there to you. Anyway, um, oh, that, you know what? That's what I was going to ask you. You're having the uh, Origin Brewing. You're having the Barn Burner Blonde right there. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, big fan. There you go, Barn Burner Blonde. Barn Burner Blonde. It is a great drop. How are you doing? You need one more there? What do you got? Yeah, we'll get one more, please. All right. There can, you, can you buy these in stores? Yes, you can. You sure I was going to say, well, if you just got these for the podcast show, like it's, it's a hell of a question, Tim. In fact, there's there's numerous stories you can buy from. We have a graphic that's unintentional segue. Really, I've set you up a beauty though. Yeah. This guy's not dumb, Dean. Uh, how do you feel about people eating rats and crocodiles and gross shit? <laughs> do you have a well, so, more across the stomach? Tasman. Um, the way, what? Huh? The uh, the eating of the crocs and all that sort of carry yeah. on, yeah. Not so much uh, where I'm from. They're they're a little bit different that side of the Tasman. So he's talking about Australia versus New Zealand. Yeah, right? yeah. Trying yeah, to explain yeah. that is it yeah. ocean sea the Tasman the Tasman the Tasman Sea between yep. uh, New Zealand and Australia across the Tasman. Yeah, is what Kiwis and Canadians have a lot to, to to feel similar about. You're next to these giants that take yeah. up a lot of space and time, and you're kind of like the younger brother, smaller, but. I like that, a little the, more nature, like a little cleaner, safer, more reserved. Yes, uh, little cousin or whatever, right. little brother, whatever you want to, however you want to term it. Yeah, I think very similar like that. So, so I've been on, off camera before. Like yeah. we are, I always think of Canada. I was like, it is a big New Zealand, really. So on Instagram, how do we find you? I, I think because you, you're all over Instagram. Yeah, he needs a few followers if we could help him with that. Yeah, you, you, I don't. we're really, really going to boost your numbers. <laughs> But uh, how do he's we find guaranteeing me, He's guaranteeing me a win today on the fout, so he's going to boost them as much as he can. I'll take it. What's the? How do we find you? It's Tim 
Shit, I don't even know. Tim Dot Naki <laughs> on you. Instagram, yeah. and I was asking, "What the hell is Naki means? Is that some slang in in uh, New Zealand that I don't understand?" He's like, "No, no, it's just like the territory I'm from." No province. Taranaki is where I'm from. So uh, Naki is the short form. Yeah. So Tim Dot Naki. Yeah. There it is. I didn't. I didn't even know that myself. <laughs> what, my, what my Instagram handle was. That's good. Cheers, guys. <laughs> what, great a small, small percentage of proceeds. We're happy to help out. Anything yeah. you need, Tim. Anything you need. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks for coming in, man. I love the story. We've been watching every day, and let's. Uh, no bad karma. No bad karma today. Positive Hopefully. vibes only here. I'll, uh, who do I make the invoice out to if this goes to shit today? Yeah. Well, again, Jack. we're just going to negotiate Jack's the boss. winning percentage, Jack. and our boss, Jack, will cover losses. No. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Awesome, Tim. We may we may see you again. We may need a big celebration. We'll get some origin beers, and when you hit okay. that million, we're going to gonna blow this thing out. I feel like I we should bring Tim to We should That's invite Tim to the Christmas party. Oh, yes. him. oh, I'm not I'm not here this Christmas. Can we do it? Can we do midwinter Christmas, uh, midsummer Christmas party? We can have a summer solstice party. That's please. fine. Yes. Solstice is fine. I'll come to the to the stampede party, please. Oh. <laughs> Sounds good. Appreciate you, Tim. Thanks, guys. You bet Thanks you. Your time. There you go. <sighs> I don't know how again. The uh, you need an idea, and then like how long how long is it gonna three hundred? How long is it gonna take us to make three hundred grand? Yeah. I mean, if we take everything we have to the blackjack table right now, I don't know. We got to win a few times, I think. <laughs> uh, so, yes, origin, originbrewing.ca. I was just thinking about that this morning. It's warmer because I, I got the snow is pretty much gone. We haven't talked a whole lot about uh, origin brewing and specifically the barn burner blonde. It's blonde season. Buddy, we're, are you kidding we're there. Me? It's cool. time. Cool. It is time uh so yeah we need a summer solstice uh welcome to summer bash we also need to have a kind of a launch we did the launch in strathmore back yes. in what november mm -hmm. but we've Very not nice. really we've been waiting for the weather to you know you need spring that's good be conducive time. to uh to having some beers maybe he's having some beers outside so we'll be doing that coming up in uh the next uh, little bit barn burner blonde uh let's do the pinder report presentation of village honda it's as though honda designed the crv for calgary and it's unpredictable weather no matter what the conditions the crv sits atop the pack among compact suvs you can feel confident behind the wheel of your crv as honda has included a plethora of driver safety features that come standard check that out and more at your dealership for life in the northwest auto mall of course it's our buddies at Village Honda and Village Honda presents Ryan Pinder. Ryan Pinder. Ryan Pinder. and the Pinder Report. Thank you, Dean. Let's start with a look at the thing that centers and drives us all. No, not the eclipse of the moon, the inverse standings, friends. There they are, the league standings upside down. The Flames today will walk into the lion's den, the masters of the inverse standings. It is Flames and Sharks where Mike Greer's crew has got this thing nearly perfected. Only lottery balls can stop them now, Rhett, as they are Slacking for Macklin Celebrini, the absolute locked-in first overall pick in this year's draft. It's a masterclass, really. 44 points. That's a beautiful number. Uh, <laughs> well done by the Sharks. Of course. What is the worst ever? Oh, I don't know about ever because those ex it might have been a Sharks expansion team. They were brutal. Remember that, Dino? They had, what, one win on the road all yeah, year? they were terrible. And then, uh, and by all means, Rhett, you could Google that instead of ask. Like, we're going to know that off the top of our head. You're professional, right? Unlike, okay, so <laughs> the Sharks are the master. What class. is the worst season ever? I will say this: I think it was like head. 58 was pretty bad. I think that's where Buffalo was for the uh, for the McDavid year, only to have the lottery balls up north do their thing. Mm. They 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 put on a master class that year too. It didn't go their way. We'll see whether it's Chicago, Anaheim or San Jose getting Celebrini, but those are pretty much your, that's, I would suggest two thirds of the, the bouncing balls go those three ways. Uh, 74, 75 Washington Capitals had eight wins. Oh. How many uh, games in that regular season back then? Eight, 67 and five. So that's 80 on my map. 80. God. Mm. One win a month. The 70, uh, wait, the 92, 93 Sharks. They were take bad. A guess at how many losses. 70. One. Oh. 71 losses. Future. 
Was was that the Barazan team? Was that the one he I was think on? So. I was just going to say, we chatted with someone on that team at the old Joe. That's an expansion. That's how you do it. Hooey. Well done. Well, and let's have a little fun. Let's go to our new favorite website. We bookmarked tankathon.com to have a spin of the simulated lottery. Here we go, Dean. Jack, fired away. Let's see where the Flames pick. Come All on, right. Flames. Come on, Flames. Come on. Yeah, no. kind of random and the Blackhawks are back with two number one. Bedard and Celebrini. And that's Stanley pretty Cup much a reload, isn't it? Yang. Yeah, that's. And that's San Jose cool. is like, what the fuck do we have <laughs> That to do? is exactly what San Jose is thinking. What do we have to do? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it again, Jack. We'll do two more. We do three a day. That's you can't. Otherwise, we're doing it all day. Oh, Ottawa! Get us two days in a row with Ottawa. Get out of here. Screw that. Oh, and Montreal. Montreal. Yeah. This thing's broken, Jack. This thing's broken. Call it. That's brutal. Uh, the Sharks. Three plugs players. for AccuView. View, by the way. Yeah. A lot, yesterday it was Jack's lingerie shopping. He was doing you got all oh, this ooh, stick really bastard. Interesting stuff for the old lady there. Um, sharks look like this. You've heard of some of these people. Uh, nope. Colin Graf's an interesting one. He might have been the most coveted college free agent, just signed and into San Jose. So uh, no number there, just the logo. Congrats on your first NHL goal tonight, by the way, Colin. Yes, Colin, uh, look forward to that. To, to try to find that one on Betway for later. That's a great point, Dean. They are missing Lindblom, Couture, Benning, Vanacek, Emerson, Barabanov, and the real slim, Clem Shady, uh, Clem Costin. So lots of injuries, which... Means even more nobody's in this lineup. Henry Thrun, old pal of Matt Coronado. Those are Harvard teammates from last year. Blah, blah, blah. It's a team that wears teal. We'll move along. Look at Mark Edward Vlasic. Still playing, buddy. Still getting around. Still collecting money. Yeah. Jeez. The forgotten man in the Meeker Kippersoff trade. There it is. To the East standings. This is where the real interest is, Dino. Seven through 11, two of these five teams get to go to the playoffs, and three will feel shame. We all want the Penguins in. It's Sid the Kid. It's a revitalized Gino Malkin, Latang, Carlson. That's two for the rest of your razor. You get my point. That would be fun. Let's go, fellas. Last night, they were in action. It did not go so well. Uh, they did get a point, Jack. We've talked about it. They fall in Toronto. One point helps, but two would have got them into a playoff spot. And so here is, again, your Eastern Conference chase. This is a, a nicer looking graphic. Like, Come on, fellas. Let's go here. Nobody wants the Islanders in. Nobody. Maybe Lou Lamarillo. That's it. Get out of there. You're boring. Stop boring people. Eric Bolton wants them in. He scouts for them. He's very excited for them. Well, it's because they paid him about. Yeah, they're paying him. They employed him for five years after he should not have been playing anymore. Man, to have friends like oh. Gar Snow, eh? God. That's strange here. <laughs> uh, top of the league looks like this. It's uh, quite interesting. We still don't have a locked in. President's Trophy winner. Rangers got a bit of a bulge. They play the Islanders tonight. Banger alert, Dean. Stars have a bit of a cushion at the top of the West. They're three points up on Vancouver, who got a win last night. Boston and Carolina, yeah, I mean, one or two in your division. We don't know yet. There's still lots to be determined there. Smudge. Smudge to be determined. Smudge. Austin Matthews last night hit a big number, 65 goals. That's a few, fellas. How many is it? Well, there's only one guy left in the league that's ever done it before. He's good at scoring goals. Uh, the greatest at scoring goals, potentially. Is Matthews going to be the guy that chases him down? Or is that asking too much? I don't Seems know. Lot, but The durability piece is huge, right? Yes. Like Ovi's 37 or whatever, and he's still going to get 30 this year. It's not like it took either of them long to ramp up to big numbers. That is true. Right? What was it Matthews' first ever game? He had four? Yeah. <laughs> so... Not crazy to think that could be true, Ryan. Mark Andre Fleury is the master of the prank, and Brandon Duheim or Duhaim eh, was playing for Minnesota, got traded to Colorado at the deadline. So when they met a week ago, Duheim thought, "Aha! I'm going to prank Mark Andre Fleury," which is the stupidest thing you can do. Not toilet paper. That's original. <laughs> <laughs> and if you pause it right here, Jack. Oh, the sign is important the for sale sign here. It says, if you would like to know where the keys, keys are to the and lock. The, 
Yeah, and the tools to put your tires back on, send us an apology video. <laughs> I love it. Oh, the are loving it. I'm blowing. Right? What do we pay these guys for? I don't know how to change a tire. Let's find out. I need to ride home. <laughs> <laughs> we got a call from their video guy and was like, Flurry just did something. They went to Home Depot this morning is all I know. That's probably good. I love that was it. That your nice touch. Don't mess so with for that, those that Yeah, for those that don't have the video, uh, Duhame wrapped Flurry's car in toilet paper. Flurry put his Jeep up on blocks, took the rims and put them somewhere, and then had basically a grave with flowers on top of the hood. It's successive for sure. It's great. Yeah. Do, do you go more into the of this den and start swinging your 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 nails around? Come on now, be smarter than this. Smart Andre, you don't Who, mess with him. Everybody loves that guy. What are you gonna do? Slate tonight. Let's have a quick look. There's some bangers in here. Retro. We start with Islanders Rangers. This is always great. Always, always great. Uh, and, and yes, major playoff implications. Rangers want the top seed overall. Islanders are trying to, are they staving, Dean? Are they are staving? Stave. They're trying to hold off the Penguins. Yeah, I don't know if that's. It's not staving, is it? It's, oh, it's a form. It feels like a form of staving. Form of staving, sure. There's some other good ones in there. I don't mind uh, Winnipeg, Nashville. That could. What about Washington, Detroit? That well, that's a big banger. Playoff. That's a banger. Banger. Sure. Total banger. We'll revisit those in our DoorDash. What's on the menu later on? What's the Check rush? Check this out. Date in the summer. For you uh, pigskin fans, and for those that remember the 90s fondly in Stampederland. Wally Buono joining the Ring of Honor sort of thingy. The Wall of Fame thingy. July 21, Sunday, 5 p.m. Welcome back, Wally. Love to see it. Slam dunk. Much deserved. Not a argument to be made. Yeah, the, the only complaint might be what took so long. He's that. It was that much of a no-brainer. And why'd you leave? Oh, um, I Something like that. Go there, but that's fine. Yeah. <sighs> Congrats, Wally. I found some video. Rhett had a bit of a uh, issue last night. We were getting the garbage out of the house here. Um, but, you know, Rhett, as, as he does, on his toes, a thinker. Yeah. Right yeah. Resourceful. It's going to work. Shoveler's screaming. She's like, first time she's ever seen you do this? Come on. Now, this is the end of a long day. Rhett and the guys were at the pool. Um, it was a Rob Ray's pool. I'm not sure. Let's go to the pool here. Fellas, we're having some drinks. not long to get into the dumb stuff Beautiful today. day. <laughs> hey, Rhett's right on the wall here. Have a look. He's got the uh, the Lloyd haircut. There he is. Looking for a poog oh, and oh, right into the yipper. Rhett, come on. You got, you got to know you're being filmed. I'm not saying don't eat your boogers. I'm saying don't do it on camera. Do you like it when they're soggy though, Red? No, you're in a pool. Like, doggy doggy yeah, there. I just I, I felt yeah. bad putting it in the pool. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. I guess if you have to pick the it's thinking about the other people. Mm -hmm. Now he and the shoveler, they've been talking about moving. I saw this moving van outside your house. You got to be careful, right? You can't you know, you, what you can't see right away here. They're towing something here. So there's a, a cord across uh towing something on the other side of the street. Let's have a watch. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I don't know if their lawyers reached out red, but you, you got to put some sort of signs there. I don't know that, that you want to ride a bike, you take the risk. Oh yeah, and you God. did put that garbage and, uh, can in the lane. That, I love I the uh, hands up there. I love the the quotation. The, whose fault is it? Yeah, I really don't know. That's a tough one, hey? Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> Jesus. Not the only bike. We actually go down to New Zealand for some mountain biking. This might have been Tim uh, before he came over. Oh, oh, <laughs> Mid-air, oh, fuck. Not even close. Excellent tombstone position on that first uh, flip as well. <laughs> oh, 
that's not a very oh. No, it was the rainy season in the Northern Territories. We always say see in the Northern Territories on the show. And that's where our crocodile guy loves the rainy season, the crocs, lots of food, all that. But tough getting around on your motorbike up there in the rainy season. So, <laughs> probably best not to ride it. But <laughs> got I don't know. You got an appointment? You got an appointment? You got to make Got to go. Just not, not even. What are we doing? Hey, here? It's going. Yeah, that, that can't be surprising. I don't know about that one. Uh, those stairs were tough last night, Red, after all you'd been through, coming up to the bed at the end of the night. Long day. Long day. That's <laughs> 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 laughing. It's hardly breathes last night. Oh. Jesus. Yeah, that's a collarbone there. Good boy. <laughs> yeah, that's some neck, some cervical uh, issues there for sure. Clavicle is something, yeah, not uh, not good. No. Uh, a little windy in Buffalo. Rhett was said it was cloudy for the, the eclipse day. Really tough to get some work on the shed done. That's what I noticed with the wind. Took the day off to get this done. Yeah. Could have used a hand from Rob Ray. Where's he in all this? Never did get that. <laughs> no, it never did. So you're not done, is what you're saying, right? No, I got to restart. Now. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, so. yeah. I'm trying to remember. I think I've been to one of these places. It's kind of like the Stampede Exhibition, little air rifle, and you got to shoot out like yeah. the whole star to get a prize. Are you familiar with these, Dean? Of course. Yeah. 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 So you got the lady with the gun. Oh, and then geez. What? What are you looking at? Fuck. Man down. Oh, lady down there. Yeah. Everyone's kind of just going about their business. He's like, yeah, this happens every Tuesday. Well, the she shards. took an air <laughs> rifle pellet right to the right to well, the mine. I mean, mine. let's see where it was. I don't Look know what this is. Yeah, that is in the mine. There you go. <laughs> and Didn't see her. So focused. <laughs> Nobody even blinks. Now, that's a good, whose fault is it? <laughs> this the, is a better whose fault is it. If we had to caption one whose fault is it, I'm with you here. You've got like, uh, the brunette there who's behind the counter, so you think she's with. Yeah, that's Peggy. You know, yeah. She's she's doing the th she's selling. And then Wilma here with the rifle. Oh gosh. Oh, geez. Wilma's got the rifle up in a shooting position. Yeah. Peggy's got to be better. Well, it's Peggy's a smart. kind of a shooting position. I'm not sure. Yeah, that is a little. <laughs> I think your hands are backwards there, <laughs> Peggy. <laughs> yeah. So you're shot. right, Rhett. That is an unorthodox way to hold a rifle. It does make me wonder whose fault it is even more now that you point that okay, out. Right. Now, you yeah, know what? You're right. It's it's Wilma's fault. Uh, you ever seen a decapitated snake, Dean? <laughs> Sorry, Ben. Yes or no? Because this is interesting. There's the head. And it's like, okay, well, this thing's dead, right? But the body's still twitching. And the mouth is still... Like, why is the snake bit itself, Dean? By the way, uh... Can we turn Tim's mic up for one? Do you have the snakes that Australia has? The spiders, all the things that kill you? Or is that just Oz that has Just them? Australia. The entire fucking continent wants to kill you. Yes. Okay, good. So uh, New Zealand for you, Dean, not Australia. Thank you, Tim. <laughs> the continent wants to kill you. Yeah. And apparently also Brazil is, is sneakily climbing the power rankings because look what they found in the Amazon, Dean. No. No, it's, it's a bit grainy, but someone's swimming underwater in what looks like there's a huge tube of sorts. Is that an is that a pipeline of some sort? No, it's a 30-foot anaconda, Dean, and there it's his head. I would not be there. Yeah, yeah, we get it. You're close. Get out of there. Oh! Another instance where you kind of hope the snake decides I've had enough. The snake is not in this man's bathtub. This man has gone into the snake's house. Look at the size of this thing. There is F Ooh. all that idiot could do if that snake does decide. Yeah, that's an appetizer if, if, if the snake wants it to be. Nice Crocs. Uh, <laughs> Dean, how you like it? It's so great, yeah. <laughs> well, between shark videos and all that, I'll, you can never go back in the water. After You're done the, with the water? You can't do it. Can't, you can't go take a dump anymore. You got toilet snakes. Can't do it. You got spiders. Yeah. You... Can't do it. 
Rats. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah. You're welcome. Appreciate There's your pin report for Tuesday. New in stock inventory on the ground. Start your automotive adventures at Village Honda. New vehicle pricing is MSRP. VillageHonda.com located in the Northwest Ottawa. We didn't even hear who won the frickin' March Madness. No, I mean, well, I mean, you can go find that on your phone. You can't find out about 26 foot anacondas in the Amazon on your phone. As easy. Things that matter. Couldn't stop and look at tonight's schedule in the NHL with 10 days left. Had to hurry. Left. Had to hurry. We've, yeah. We pointed out two bangers and we had to move. Really had to rush. Yep. Three teams can clinch divisions tonight. That's two right. teams can clinch a playoff spot tonight. But look at the size of this snake. And how about this severed snake biting itself? That was weird. That was a major plot twist, wasn't it? Maybe. Is he loading up a shovel? Yeah. Oh my god! I think maybe. I knew it was coming. It's not that you can't do the snake stuff. If you're tied, if you're d d determined to do that, you, you probably can. Um, who am I to say? As you, say, it's the Pinder report. And we're standings and crocodiles. No one else has it locked down. No, you're right. Like you told Tim, you just need an idea, a thing that's got to be yours. You got to own it. Yeah. How much are you up? Uh, from the snake less than videos. Tim's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Slightly. Just waiting for my hot run of luck, Dean. That's right. <laughs> Douglas Mattress, named Canada's best mattress on Canadian living. Loved by more than 200,000 Canadians. 10,000 five-star reviews. You avoid the pushy salespeople. It's easy online ordering. It del gets delivered right to your doorstep. Free shipping, coast to coast to coast. Industry-leading risk-free trial. You get a year, 365 yeah. nights to try the mattress risk-free. If you don't like it, you get the full refund. No questions asked. Douglas donates these mattresses to local charities. And with the website, that uh, with the old little slash aroo there, douglas.ca slash flames nation, you will get a free comfort sleep bundle. That's two memory foam pillows and pillow protectors, a luxurious cotton sheet set and a mattress protector. That's a $650 value, totally free. When you order a Douglas mattress now at douglas.ca slash flames nation. Tell you came home last night. After you spent a number of days in a hotel, hotel bed, you got back on your Douglas mattress. Oh. Uh, Thank, no, you're ready. You. You're ready. Thank you, Douglas. Appreciate you. Douglas.ca slash flame station. That's how you do that. In Calgary. Eh? Yeah. Maybe right here in Calgary. This little old place, smallest big city in the world. You got the yeah. world famous blackjack guy and you're making matches. What's going on in this place? Hard to believe. Yeah. Hard to believe. Yeah. 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 How's he doing today? He's a little, he's a half I'm beat right. off. I'm all right. Mm. Alex Ovechkin is one goal shy of setting an NHL record. If he gets one more, it will be his 18th career 30 goal season. That's insane. 18th. 30 is a very nice number. You need to play eight shit. seasons for starters. Is that right? That's right. Patrick Kane of the Detroit Red Wings. He is one back of Mike Medano for the most 20 goal seasons by a U.S. born player in NHL history. And as we said, is, is he, does he now become the best American born player? And then will Austin Matthews uh, usurp him as the best American born player down there? I would say yes and yes. Yeah. You dig? I dig. Uh, Islanders Rangers tonight. It is the first of two remaining regular season games between these two. They could meet in the first round. Yes. And if they do meet in the first round, it would be their first playoff meeting in 30 years. Also, so I'll say this. I don't want the Islanders in there. Yes. But if they're going to play the Rangers, okay. I'll listen. Yeah. Man sucks. Let's go. I could be pers right, right. I could be persuaded. Right. Great, Robert. Also, remember, it was the first game for Matt Rempe outdoors in front of eighty thousand fans, where he fought Matt Martin on his first shift that blossomed that star. That's part of this rivalry too. Yeah, I would take that series. Uh, the Rangers, with a win, 
would establish a franchise record for wins in a single season. They have 53 Jeez. wins. 54 would be a new franchise mark. Been around for a while, sir. Right? Wins. Yeah, yeah. And the Rangers and a Hurricanes regulation loss would give New York its first division title since 1415, which is almost a decade ago. Is that right? In 1415? Might have been. been. Lost in... Uh, Six to LA. Lost in OT to Alec Martinez and the LA Kings. Was that the that Rangers? Recall? I know the Devils lost one to the... Both. Yeah. yeah okay, there mm -hmm. you go. Mm -hmm. Beating up on New York area teams in the final. Flyers are in Montreal. They're still in the mix for both third in the Metro and a wild card. It's kind of in that it's that whole because when we showed the one graphic, you've got the wild card that doesn't include the Islanders mm -hmm. because they're in the third spot, but they're still, you know, still there. Flyers, same thing, still there. Uh, the Kings, they can clinch with a win tonight. They take on the Ducks and clinch meaning a playoff spot. Yeah, not too worried about that for them. Yeah. The Predators can clinch tonight with at least a point in Winnipeg. What a run. Good on them. 18 games undefeated, and that went from like a team in Calgary's part of the standings to, oh, yeah, we're going to the playoffs. Yeah. That's nice. There is a very thin chance that they could catch Winnipeg, but this uh, it's it's very thin. Yes. Very, very thin. Uh, Hurricanes visit the Bruins. It's a good one here. Yeah. A banger up. It's a banger. She's two, banger. Uh, two of the best in the league. Yeah. Carolina on the verge of becoming only uh, the only team with an active streak of three consecutive 50 win seasons. Whoa. Rod the bod. How about Rod it? The bod. Yeah. Rod the bod. And Boston with a win and then some other stuff. Leafs live at it. They can clinch the Atlantic. And the Dallas Stars can hit the 50 win plateau with a uh, victory over the sabers mm. in addition to that they can clinch the central with a win uh right re with regulation losses from colorado and Winnipeg. but whatever it's uh the dallas stars i know you love the dallas stars retro is it said yeah. are you still bitter you kind of over it i'm pretty much over it yeah unless yeah. i think about almost it, then i'm yeah. bitter then you're, think about okay, it, you're not yeah. over it. Okay. So when you don't think about it you're fine so when you experience I, memory loss no problem with that. when i take your advice dean and just push Back it down. It. Yes. Push it down. Don't deal with your issues. Push Don't them talk down. about it. Yeah. Don't seek help. Right. Don't work to get through it. Just mm. push it down. Okay. I feel it coming. Oh, push. push, oh, push no, push. no. You know what? No, just keep that to ourselves. But Dean, then one day that might boil over and explode. Oh, it will for sure. Oh, okay. But for sure. now, yeah. just push it down. Okay. A lot of bad advice on this show today. Is that right? You know, definitely start online gambling, push down your feelings. No, stuck in. <laughs> I mean, just terrible. Yeah. Tim was very clear. Drink, this is a dumb drink idea. at 10 a.m. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Three, four beers deep by 10, 15 uh, a.m. Yeah. No judging. Yeah. No judging. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. Let's, uh, hey, let's do our Betway bets. Yeah, let's do it. With that, uh, 13 games. Oh, boy. Now, in, in fairness, Flames and Sharks. Uh, you know, that's the game that we're going to focus on. There might be other things out there. When you get on your Betway app and you start looking around, there might be some other juicy stuff out there that you want to get on. Okay. And we won't judge you. Again, no judging. Positive vibes only is what we That's you. With Betway, it's super easy. If you haven't already got an account, here's what you do. Create a new account. Scan the QR code on the screen right now. And you can redeem your bonus. What's the bonus? You get a free bet up to $200 if your first bet loses. You place a bet. No minimum amount required. If the bet loses, you will get a refund of up to $200. You can then use that money to bet on your favorite sports. This offer is available only outside of Ontario. Do it. Let's take a look-see. Flames at San Jose. Uh, so, yes, it's a real battle. The, uh, the Sharks can tell you about the sharks two and three in their last five yeah. which is i mean that's 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 the high that's a good run for them. for them yeah flames yeah. lost three in a row they've lost eight of nine and have already lost the san jose once this season so mm -hmm. uh mckenzie Weger needs an assist uh, he's what two points away two assists away for 50 from plus 50 yeah get an assist tonight it's plus 115 
And then, oh, Jack. Is this Sharky? Uh, or, yeah. Or... He put Shark, one plus power play point. You know, I went looking for the Kuzmenko power play point. They don't have it. So maybe they know that uh, Kuzmenko is just. Uh, they just don't want, it, they don't want him to burn him. He's so hot right now. Sharon Govich, I believe, has. You know what? I, I can look at it. Anyway, with this current surge in the power play for the Flames, hmm. he has been, eh, if not centrally, he's been in the mix. One power play point for uh, Igor Sharangovich tonight is a plus 250. So that's where we're going. A little bit of plus money like on the it. Flames tonight in San Jose. That is Sharky against the Sharks. Okay, I've got one baseball, one hockey. I'm going to go with San Jose plus a goal and a half. Uh, that's I'm not. Uh, it's not quite even money, but they've given the Flames a tough time. Flames have not done well at getting up for weaker opponents. I also think Dustin Wolf's inspired to be better near his hometown. So I think it's a close game. I'm taking the Sharks plus a goal and a half. And in baseball, I'm going to take a Toronto regulation win. You have to lay your minus 115 to win straight up, but to not get extra innings and win, even money. Let's go. That way. There you go. Sharon Govich, uh, four. Power play points. i got to go back and take a look at it here. Um, he had two power play points against Edmonton, had one against Anaheim, two against... Okay, that's five power play points in his last four games. How about that? Stay hot, son. Stay hot. There you go. That's our Betway bets. With Betway, you get that free bet of up to 200 bucks if your first bet loses. That is the key, though. Create your new account. Scan the QR code on the screen and redeem that bonus. You place the bet. If it loses, you'll get a refund of up to $200. You can then use that money to bet on your favorite sports. This offer only available outside of Ontario. How about it? How about it? How about it? 13 games tonight. 13. Yeah, was yeah. it uh, 25 teams, Dean? A dozen games. There you go. In the NHL tonight. And we're here for it. We'll be here, we'll be back tomorrow probably to talk about some of them even. Some people will be talking tonight after the Flames game, believe it or not. Yeah. The not that, game? The, the staying up that late? They are staying up that late. We'll have Afterburner tonight. The Afterburners will be Kent and Mike. Wilson and Gould. I'm getting a lot of... Uh, positive feedback about mike gold guy knows his shit sharp guys like you know what that mike yeah, guy's good i'm like oh yeah he is very good yeah, yeah. we're not just throwing riffraff on there it's we men and women that know what the hell they're doing yes and the flames might be wrapping up here but the wrangler's got a nice little playoff run coming we're hoping and little one of these might have mike on a file for the, you'll see some stuff around here about that i have a little thing I'm, I'm not going to throw it out right now, uh, but I have a thing that I kind of want to beat the drum for. Okay. It's kind of a, it's uh, something that I'd like to see that I think would be a, it'd be a nice gesture. I don't know that th there's a likelihood of it happening, mm. but it's something that I'd like to see. And I'm not going to put it out right now because I want to have all the details in place before I start frothing and, and we'll put a pin in that. Out. Yeah. I'm going to put a pin in it. DoorDash. Ordering is easy with DoorDash. You know, they have, Door they have DoorDash everywhere. You think well, it was a Calgary thing? No, no. DoorDash is everywhere. Restaurants, groceries, pharmacies, bakeries, flower shops, and it's everywhere. It's easy. You choose what you want from where you want it. Whenever you want it, it shows up outside your door. And for a limited time, our listeners get 25% off and zero delivery fees on the first order of $15 or more when you enter promo code NATION25. NATION25. I don't even know where you'd be going tonight. I mean, there's so many options. Rhett, but, uh, what's on the menu for DoorDash? I'll go games. Red will go food. I'll start. Washington, Detroit at five. Major playoff implications for both clubs trying to get in. Two of those five teams with, have two playoff spots available. Also, Islanders at Rangers are hosting the Rangers. That's a great game, no matter whether the teams are good or not. Never mind the implications. Rangers trying to lock down top seed in the NHL. Islanders trying to get a playoff spot. Bruins, Hurricanes, that'll be good. And finally, a little baseball at 507. Seattle and Toronto from the renovated Rogers Dome Sky thingy. Nice. And get yourself some popcorn because it's too late to pop. Once the kids are in bed, the game Wait, starts. Pop early, late. you're saying? It's pop early for the game tonight. It's too late, so you got to order it. Yeah, okay. So you're ordering it in? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. nice. There you go, folks. Yeah. Dash that for the win with DoorDash. DoorDash. Everybody's doing DoorDash. Everybody's doing DoorDash. Everybody do boom. 
Um, we're going to have noodles tomorrow, I believe. It's Wednesday. Yes, yeah, McLennan on a Wednesday, as always. Jamie McLennan. Well, hopefully he's got a better attitude than the last couple of weeks. Oh, really? Wow. Has he had a bad attitude? Oh, well, you know noodles. He's just an emotional roller coaster. So yeah. He's always down in the dumps half the time. Yeah. Really he's not a negative. pushing it down enough. <laughs> Come on, noodles. So or you can just yeah, one on one counseling with him, really teach him how to push that stuff down. Or you know he's, he's absolutely no one's that positive. No one has that much fun. Yeah, no one's big. brimming like that. Where are the bodies, noodles? You're yeah. too happy. Where are the bodies? Where are they buried? Hey, where are the barrels <laughs> with the corpses in them? Because <laughs> that's not there's just nobody that's that. You're an anaconda in that river behind your house. What are you doing? Yeah. Huh? What's up for the rest of the day, man? It's gorgeous here. The day uh, in the world is your oyster, Red. I think it's 80 degrees out. Wow. Oh my gosh. I don't know what that is, but it sounds that all sounds right. Amazing. It's like warm. Yeah. Yeah. I've got some steaks I want to cook. <sighs> One of the kids has really taken into uh, on the, the golf. Really? Now, not really golf, more just smashing golf balls. Yeah, that's fun. The yeah, driving, driving range is a huge. Sure. Yeah. Spanking eggs. Mm -hmm. How do you fare in that department? With the shoulders and the hoi. Don't participate. No. I bet you could drink and drive a golf cart pretty well, though. I've excelled in the past. Mm -hmm. That's right. why that would change. Yeah. 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 This is the summer of golf, Red. I don't know if. No, oh, stop. It. Finally. It's every yeah. fucking year I hear the stamps. Finally. Story. This is the summer that it we're is really not getting. Summer into. of golf. Damn this it, year, I... finally getting into enough is enough. We talk about it and then it never happens and things come up and there's excuses everywhere. So easy to just make excuse. Not this year. Now, in years past, have the courses not threatened to open in mid-April? They're not threatening now. That's um, not a threat this year. No threat. Uh, you know what? I take that back. You there's should, always yeah. a few early birds. We've had a lot of snow the last two weeks. There was one open prior to that. Hmm. Stop and go. Because the earlier year. they opened... The sooner the more we get started on that. Yeah, because I need to get out there. I got that. Uh, it's, you want to go down to Lethbridge? They're open. Sure. Settle down, Lethbridge. Yeah, um, settle down. Settle down. Longer season there. Uh, what about you, Pinder? Uh, uh, Tim Dotnacki's four tall boys in. So yeah. I either have to play catch up or get the hell out of here before. Uh, catch up and then a massage? His and his massages? Something. No, it's not really on the menu today. Uh, what about you, Jack? What's up today? I don't know. He's gonna depends what Ryan's doing. If Ryan's Sullivan. leaving, me and Ryan have to film some shit. But yeah, we got some stuff for Department of Discipline we're doing today. Oh, yeah. Tuesday's work day. I see. Also, had a Connie for you. Conroy, hey, you want to come on? Yeah, I'd love to. Okay, what about this week? No, I'm traveling. Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah, it's a busy guy. Could be. Appreciate you, buddies. Support the sponsors. Be good to each other. Enjoy this matchup tonight. Already, I, I, I just anticipate having a hard time sleeping tonight, knowing yeah. that we'll be able to get up and really dissect this son of a gun. It's and a privilege, again, really. In a week. I know, yeah. Well, that one's going to be very emotional because it'll mean the end of this 82-game marathon. Yeah. <sighs> That's game 82. A lot of feels in there. But at least it'll be a Friday, and as sad as we'll be to see the <laughs> season end. At least it'll be Friday. At he least. Full screen, I can't really see the emotions in his face. Just at, at least, at least they aren't playing as the playoffs have started. Yeah, that did happen during COVID. That was a. Oof. Yeah. As sad as we are, as torn up as we are inside to see this whole thing come to an end in six games from now. At least they'll have the ninth overall pick. Shut up! Or, don't say or that. The, or the twelfth overall pick. We don't need your bad karma today. Not yeah, with Tim in the house. Nice belt, by the way, Dean. That's a new yes. belt. Put Is that it? on, big big man. <sighs> oh, I'm too tired. Yeah, you're <laughs> you're just a sack of shit today. <laughs> too tired. <laughs> Bye, Dean. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> See you, buddies.